I guess I'm just looking for this now. Oh, do we want to rank the Hisuian Pokemon in this too? Here, I'm gonna bring take this away so you guys can help me on this. I didn't even think about that. I don't know if I'll be able to get one that has all of them on it is the thing. This is probably not, uh, let's see, Gen Pokemon Gen 8, Pokemon Unite. No, no, no. Usually, I think I find my best results by searching, like, on Sword Shield, but that's not gonna give me the, the Hisuian guys. Sword Art Online! Here's the new Pokemon one. Uh, this has the DLC, guys. I don't even think I've seen a lot of this official art. These look nice. So this one's not bad. Where's Galarian Slow King? Or Slow Bro? I don't see him. Why would he not be on here? Was this made before the DLC came out? <laughs> Yeah, look, it doesn't have the other Calyrex forms or anything either. All right, this one's out. Can you see the chat also? No. I need to move this slower. He's who in Pokemon are considered Gen 9? Oh, thank you, Pixel. Oh, yes. Okay. This one has Gigantamax forms on it, too. <laughs> uh, which we might do, like, Mega Evolutions and just rank those really quickly at the end. Does this have the DLC, guys? Yes, it does. Okay, this one's perfect. I'll take out F. I'm not taking out D. <laughs> I believe there will be a D in here, potentially. And let's zoom it in one. Normally I put this small also. I put it in the layout. Do you guys want the layout? The layout makes it so that this doesn't like on the, uh, can you see this, my mouse also? It doesn't look like it is capturing my mouse. It should be, maybe I just can't see it. Um, can you see my mouse layout, my mouse cursor? This way the chat kind of goes over the screen, but it's also, it makes the image bigger. How do we think? I mean, it doesn't really doesn't matter. Move my cursor like this. Can you see it? Why would it not be capturing if it's supposed to? Okay, if you can see it, then then good. Um, the Hisuian guys really are Gen Nine. I don't know if I believe that. Where can you find me an official source on that nav? <laughs> We're sure they're not Gen Eight. What I might do is I might rank the, uh, I might start with the, cause this is all uh, Pokemon Arceus and Gigantamax forms. And then the full Pokedex is just down here. Oh no, this has some GMAX forms in it too. I guess they're just with the Pokemon they evolved from maybe. Or maybe these ones are in Dex order. I don't fucking know. And here's Overquill. Wait, is this how the Dex is organized? This is, this is very random. I guess these guys are like the special guys, maybe? I don't know about all that. But this is definitely a good tier list. It has everybody on it that we'd want. Yeah, Melmetal is Gen 7. <laughs> I think these guys... I. I don't know, Nav. I'm pretty sure these guys are Gen 8, and I think one Bulbapedia search would... Well, it, does Bulbapedia acknowledge the Gens? I'm pretty sure RCS is Gen 8. 
The gen doesn't start until the game comes out. <laughs> this is definitely gen eight. All right, um, sh let's wait on them though. Let's see how, what's my best way to do that then? I mean, we'll probably, let's just start with, and it can be unorganized, right? It can be stupid. Why are these guys first though? These are in the base game, right? Why is Yamask up here? <laughs> Where's Bruno Regis? <laughs> I'm gonna do a little organizing here really quick. It won't take me long. Uh, the GMAX forms being in here is fine. Uh, let's move these guys down with these other ice guys or whatever. It's fine if it's not index order. I just want them down here. Yamask, you can go with your big brother. Um, these are Stunfisk. Uh, he's around here somewhere too, I, would, I bet. That's around the part of the game where you catch him. Mr. Rhyme, or no, Galarian Mime. And then we'll move um, these guys down here by here. Uh, is that all? Oh, far fetched. Or surfetched. I guess because maybe because these guys are part of the Gen One decks, that's why the the tier list has them like that. Uh, but that is confusing to me. I just want to rank them all together. I'll put this this with the DLC. My Cub Chu. Or well, Cub Fu is that what he's called? <laughs> Cub Chu is a different Pokemon. Um, I don't know. You can be next to Kuta. I don't know what their counterpart is. I think that they have one though. I think they're shield only. Maybe it's this guy. All right, and Corsola goes with Cursula. Right, I think we're probably just about good. Slowking. Weezing. I don't know where to, well, you're not Weezing. I don't know where to put Weezing. I'm just gonna put him, stick him in here somewhere. These are all, yeah. All right, I think we got everything how I want it. Okay, we'll rank the Hisuian guys last. I mean, I think if you, <laughs> I don't know. When, the, when there's no gen nine yet, I think that the Pokemon have to fall into the new gen. Oh, far-fetched, I think you're right, Kingo. But I suppose there's probably no like official word on what gen the Pokemon are. Cause there's not really ever been a game like Arceus before until it came out, at least not that I can think of. Okay. It's time, gamers, to do the ranking. Let's start with, I feel like, I feel exhausted now just having moved them around like that. <laughs> but there really aren't that many Pokemon in this game and it's time. Um, I know a lot of people, at least like when, um, <laughs> at least when Scarlet and Violet came out, I remember a lot of excitement over uh, the new Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. But to me, gamers, I think this game has, has the better decks easily. Uh, a lot of these guys, I think, are really good uh, in a way that like Scarlet and Violet does not have as many good guys. Uh, and I think even though this is not the best Pokemon game, and I also don't like it as much as the new one, um, I think that that is an underrated and underappreciated element of it. I think overall, in general, the designs are stronger. 
in this one versus Scarlet and Violet. I think with every Pokemon, the style gets a little bit further and further away from like the kind of art style that I like for the series. But I think in this game, it has like a lot of them are a lot closer uh, than um, than than the new guys are. The new guy, like the 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 ones of these that are weird, the new guys get like even weirder in that direction. That I don't like that as much. But we'll see when as we go through it. Um, and we got some Destiny Challenge guys on here too, so that's exciting. Uh, but as a whole, I, I think this crop of Pokemon's pretty good. I remember when they all dropped being really excited to play the game. Gen 8 had pretty great games. I think that Gen 8 is my least favorite Pokemon game. <laughs> I also haven't replayed it, so I may go back and reevaluate that at some point. Um, but uh, this is, I think, the weakest game in the series. Gen 6 is the next one up from that. Um, but I think that a lot of what is interesting about this game is made better by the new one. Um, and I think what's uh, what else is there, it feels undercooked and rushed and underdone. Um, it feels very much like the most like stopgap game in the series to me. Where even Gen 6, which I think is kind of a, you know, can be not that interesting of a video game. Gen 6 at least feels like it's like a big jump. It's like a new generation for Pokemon. This one I don't think feels like that. It feels weird. Yeah, the wild area is just, is so underdeveloped. <laughs> um, but and there's some cool things in it. And again, I like the Pokedex. So let's move the starters up so I can talk about them all at once. Can I... This might be, if we're doing full screen, this is better because that means I can actually see them. Except for the fact that <laughs> with all these, all these Hisuian guys uh, <laughs> up here at the top, that means I have to scroll every time I want to talk about one of the guys in line. I might have to move them down. <laughs> I know that is going to be so time consuming and annoying. I might have to move them down. How many of them are there? I wish I could drag. Let's just do it real quick. It's the same amount of scrolling I'll have to do anyway. We'll move the GMAX forms down here at the bottom, at the back. Because I'm probably not even... I, I might talk about them. I don't even know if we will. If we do, it'll be very brief. Oops. Who did I move? Basque Legion? What's his name? Eric Arascuta? We may get into a Pokemon here that Snack doesn't remember the name of, also. <laughs> Have you guys seen that post going around that's like, No, I'm starting for to forget the names of Pokemon. <laughs> Any other G-Max guys to put? Garboder. Uh, Melmetal. Rillaboom. Cinderachi. Antelayan. And then we'll move the Hisuian guys down with the rest of the Hisuian guys. This is easier for me. I mean, I imposed this upon myself. But whatever, dude. Uh, Samurai. Talk about these guys all together. Let me put him next to Overquill. I'm next to Sneasler. These guys are stupid. You didn't hear me say that. We don't know yet. Uh, this Kuta. These guys. I think Zorua was the first one shown from this game, wasn't it? Don't ask me why I did that. That bothered. That just bothered me. <laughs> All right. Uh, Basculin. Braviary. Put him next to Woo. <laughs> we'll put him next to Woo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I guess I didn't move these guys. Avalug. The most forgettable fucking Pokemon from this gym. Alright, now we're now we're doing much, much better. Oh well, you're right. Shoot, we should have done that pixel. All right, now we're ready to go. 
<laughs> I also like some of the characters in uh, in Sword and Shield. I like the designs too. Okay, so <sighs> the Gen Eight starters. <laughs> I think it would help me to put the ones I like the least uh, down first. Um, because there's a couple that I like, and there are a lot I'm mid on, because I think this is a weak crop of starter Pokemon. Uh, I know when they first came out, um, everybody, and, and myself too included, commented on how the fact that they all have like the same sized head. It's like round head with a little thing on the top, Round head with the ears on the top, round head with the little, this little fin on the top. <laughs> and I think if they were like good designs, that's fine. I like I, I'm not like so like upset about that. Um, but some of the these final forms I think are a little dubious, and some of the middle forms I really don't like. Um, but we'll get started. So I'm gonna move the ones I like the least down. Thwacky is like <laughs> he might be a D. <laughs> I I, re I like the Grookey line, but Thwacky is not it to me. I don't like his color scheme. Maybe he's a C. We'll keep him in C for now. Thwacky I don't like. Um, I also don't like Inteleon. Really, that much. Eh, maybe he'll be like top-ish of C. Uh, Inteleon is like fine. Maybe that puts maybe that puts him above Thwacky then. God, Thwacky D tier. <laughs> uh, Inteleon I think is fine. Um, I like his I like the idea of Inteleon, but he's just a weird looking design. I'm, I like I don't know. I, even like he looks even worse in the game. Like his animations and all that like is just not cool kind of. Um, okay, next is. Drizzile maybe also C tier, but I'll put him a little higher. He kind of is funny because he kind of looks like an emo kid. Uh, but I don't like the colors on this one. Sobble we'll put in B. Sobble is my least favorite of the of the base form starters. I just don't think he's that interesting. I like in this in his official art that he's going ah. He's doing a colon zero. <laughs> And in the first, um, in the first cutscene of the game, which is the first time they did that cute little like cutscene where they're all playing together, I remember his apple or something gets burnt. I think Scorbunny burns his food and he he starts to cry, and that's kind of cute. Or maybe Grookey makes him cry. Someone makes him cry. <laughs> but other than that, I think of all the starter Pokemon, he's one of the ones that maybe looks the most fake. Like he's not a real Pokemon, kind of. <laughs> Uh, okay. Next. I think when it comes to this gen regarding these Pokemon, they may all be around A tier next for me. Um. Hmm. I put Rillaboom the, the lowest of the A's. I think he's still cool, and you guys know I like monkeys a lot. Monkeys get a big buff from Snack. And I don't, off the top of my head, I can't even think of a gorilla Pokemon, really, otherwise. There's Oranguru, he's an orangutan. But I think he's maybe the, our first gorilla we've ever had. Um, and even though I don't think he's the most interesting, I remember seeing him when the game came out because I was already locked in on Grookey. I knew he's who I was picking. And thinking that he looked pretty cool. Um, and I think when he pulls out his drums, which he doesn't have in his official art, he looks cooler. But not one of the best. I think he's a little underwhelming. He's a cool idea, though. Even though he feels like he should be from, like, Gen 7 or something. <laughs> I think he he has, like, kind of, like, the island, like, drumming kind of look, like, vibe kind of. He's kind of got, like, a Maui vibe to him. And he's here in the fucking white person British region. Um, but I like him less than the Cinderachis. Um, Cinderace is the one I like the least, actually. <laughs> he's fine. I like him about as much as I like Rillaboom. I think he's a bit of a stronger design, maybe. But he's not a monkey, so that hurts him. Um, I like Raboot more. He has the teenager look, but in a, in a way that's cool, unlike Drizzile.
I think the palette, the color palette is nice. I also am not a big fan of like bright white though also, um, which hurts him maybe a little bit for me and hurts Score Bunny maybe a little for me too. I might put Raboot here. Or do I like him more than Score Bunny? Putting the whole score bunny line in A, and I'm keeping Grookey in S. <laughs> Sorry, my list. Uh, Grookey's the best. Uh, cl clearly the best starter Pokemon of the entire gen. Um, right from the very first trailer, from the moment they showed them, he's just a little monkey who bangs stick, and, <laughs> and his, his mouth looks like an avocado. He looks like if an avocado came to life and turned into a little bang stick monkey. And I love him. <laughs> Crookie's the best. He's the only one who's staying in S. Oh, let's make a Vamer tier also. I might put him in it also. Um, what are we gonna... Maybe like this blue for like... I don't know. What are we feeling on this? Pink? Taupe? Blue? Blue? I kind of like this sort of indigo-ish blue. We've definitely used this for Vamers before, but... E. I might move Grookey up into that. I don't know, though. I don't know if he's a Hall of Vamer favorite, though. He's definitely S for me, though, when we're talking this gen. All right. Okay. Oh, because I'm cause looking down here and I can see some Hall of Vamers, I don't know if Grookey makes the cut. <laughs> But he's good, I really like him. All right, Squavit. Oh, I'm gonna put him in C tier, maybe. Down here, I'm not a huge fan of Squavit. I like Greedon a lot more now, though, than I used to. <laughs> Greedon, I'm thinking about a B. <laughs> when Greedon came out, I hated Greedon. <laughs> I thought he was the stupidest looking fucking Pokemon of all time. Um, but in the in the gener the whole generation in the years that have followed uh, since um, since this game came out, I've I've softened on him. I think he's got a funny doofy looking face, and he yeah, and he goes, "I'm a dumb fucking greeting." We had a really funny moment playing multiplayer on Sword and Shield. Me and Kingo, and I think Pixel was there too, where we were all doing um, the raid dens. And we encountered this, because they're silhouettes, so you can't see who they are. We encountered Greedent, and we were like, who the fuck is that? What Pokemon is that? Like, we <laughs> we, we couldn't tell, like, who he was. <laughs> so we were all excited about this new Pokemon we found. And then it, 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 we, fought, we spawned into the raid, and it was fucking Greedent. <laughs> they thought it was Stoutland. <laughs> we were really excited, and it turns out it was just dumb fucking Greedent. It's a really funny moment. Uh, okay. The Corviknight line. This guy's a Hall of Famer for me. Uh, he, better than Tinkaton. <laughs> Corviknight's awesome. Oops, my list, sorry. Um, he looks like he's going, you best with the natural order. And even though he is, he looks like a big fuck, like he looks almost incapable of flight. Cause he's, he kind of looks like he's wearing armor. Um, I think he looks enough like he could still fly that he looks raw. Crows are raw. Raven's raw. Corviknight is awesome. I like him more than Skarmory. <laughs> the Skarmory is cool too. All right. Um, and then the rest of these guys, Corvus Squire is the most C goddamn Pokemon I've ever seen. I'll put him below these guys. Holy shit, Michael mode. Makes you wonder, makes you wonder. Uh, yeah, Corvus Squire is lame. Rookity is fine. He's like an okay regional bird first form. Um, okay. Orbital Lion. This one is called Blip Bug. I know, I think Kingo like really hates Blip Bug. <laughs> I remember Kingo, like, Kingo like fucking hated Blip Bug for some reason. <laughs> I don't hate him. I don't really like him, though. I'll put him maybe around C also. 
We can let these guys be the gatekeepers. Thwacky is so bummed that he's the maybe the first starter starter Pokemon in any of these tier lists to be in D tier. <laughs> Sorry, Thwack. Um, okay, but the rest of these guys I really like. I'm putting them at least in A. Dotler, I have... So I used Orbeetle on my team when I played this game. And obviously to get Orbeetle, you have to evolve Blipbug into Dotler. So I had Dotler for a little while. And Dotler was... Dotler, like, melted my heart. <laughs> he was the most precious little uh, guy when I would play in the campsite with my Pokemon on this gen. Because he moves insanely slow. And I would always be like, alright, Dotler, get the little ball. And I'd throw the ball out and he would be like... And like another Pokemon would have already like would have been able, like have gone by, snagged it, and grabbed it, and run all the way back to me. Like he would never get the ball because he was too slow to get it. And I always remember that about him. I think it's cute. I'm gonna keep him here though, and I'll move Orbeetle. I'd be here. I don't know if I like him as much as the starters. Orbeetle I think is neat though. It might have been Snom for me too if I had intended on using Snom, but Snom is in fact way too far into the game because ice types boo um, but they they both get to be an a i like them i think orbital is cool too bug psychic he's like a ufo snack core these guys i don't like at all feeble no which one's feeble this is thievil right this guy sucks he's worse than flacky he, he might be like the worst pokemon in this gen <laughs> And this one is called Nicket. We can put him uh, here. Yeah, these guys are. No, I I don't. I Nicket I think is bad. I don't like Nicket. There is this one Nicket or is this one? There are way better foxes. Like every single fox Pokemon. And also there are a ton of fox Pokemon, and they're all better than this one. <laughs> all right. I like these guys though. This one is a nice, uh... let's for now move them at the top of B. So this one, I remember this one is Eldegoss. I'm, he's maybe here. I don't think he's super memorable. I might put him below S S uh, Sobble, but he's fine. And I think I'm going to keep this in B too, but maybe put it above, because it looks like a little nicer. It's kind of a... It's not a serotonin, but it's sort of getting there to me. I don't mean to insult serotonin by comparing them, but... I think it's about a B for me. Um, Alright, Willu is good. Shall we put him in S? Probably. <laughs> Wooloo is the cute bait Pokemon of this game. It's a perfectly round little ball. In fact, they even roll. Um, and I fell for this one because <laughs> Wooloo is adorable. <laughs> and he has, a, I like his little, um, I like his little uh, sheep eye. He's got the little square, the rectangular pupil kind of thing. And he's just beautiful. He's a beautiful creature. Uh, Dubwool is also fine. I think I like him all right. Maybe put him next to Greedon. He's definitely not a memorable, uh, like, like he, like, there's always a Pokemon like this, I feel like, where the first form is, like, boss and everyone loves it. And then, like, the you're like, oh, we know it's going to evolve, right? <laughs> And in this case, I don't think he evolved into something that lived up to the hype. But I don't think uh, Dubwool is bad either. I think he's okay. I like both of these guys pretty well. I know we had a... We, I think we had a little debate on whether or not we like Choodle. But Choodle works for me. I might, I might actually keep them both right here. Judo looks like a little scrawny little nerd thing <laughs> in a cute way though. And I think Dreadnought is pretty good. He's a cool turtle. Actually, I maybe I like him more than Choodle. Let's move split them up a little. Maybe he's better than Orbeetle. He's a cool design. Eh, I'll put him over here. Dreadnought's good. 
he looks like a cool big ass like snapping turtle. You can see he's got the neck to like shoot it out and he's got this big snappy jaws. And Choodle is just sort of a doofy little doofus. I like him though, I'm keeping them in A. His big tooth like, and his unibrow, he's, he's got charms. Uh, okay. Yamper, I also like. I think we may be creating a cutieboys.biz here. Uh, I don't love him the most of all, but I think he's still pretty cute. And this guy I don't like as much, though. Bolt Hund. He is... He looks, like, weird to me. I don't know. I, he doesn't... They didn't cook with this design. <laughs> uh, but I think he's better than some of these guys. Maybe here. He looks bad in the game, too. You know what, I think you guys might be right. I'm gonna move Yamper here. He feels very much like they like wanted him to be something, but we already had Wooloo is the thing. <laughs> but I don't think he's bad. He looks like a little, uh, he looks, yeah, he looks like a nice, I'll put him at the top of B maybe. He's a go-getter. I like him, but I don't like love him. All right, um, I think these guys are all pretty good. Let's put them in B for now, and then I'll decide what I want to do with them. Roly Coley is fun in his simplicity, I think. And I also like that he rolls around. So maybe he's like a low A. <laughs> they might all actually be. <laughs> Carcoal is the closest Pokemon has ever come to making a Banjo-Kazooie character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit of a bum, Roly Coley. Roly Coley, I think I put as the lowest. Carcoal uh, looks like a ba looks like he's from Banjo Kazooie. He looks like his uh, voice line would be like. <laughs> He'd be like, <laughs> and you'd like jump in his minecart or something. And then this one is called Colossal, and he's pretty cool too. He's like a cold kaiju thing. But I think I like them all around this. <laughs> Dr. Boyfriend! Dr. Boyfriend! <laughs> I don't know where to put Dr. Boyfriend. Let's rank the other two first. Um, this one is an S tier, and I think Applin is also. I really like Appleton. I think I like him more than Wooloo. Appleton is the is a goofy little weirdo. The the like <laughs> the shell like covering his face, and then it makes this look like uh like big floppy ears. Even though these are his eyes, these things on the side. Um, and he looks, he's like a pie. He's really good. I don't think he's a, like, a, the, the, the Hall of Vamers, um, the Vamers for me is, this is for the whole series. So while I really like, like, Applin, or Appleton, for instance, and Grookey, they're not, like, they're not, like, favorites of all time. No, yeah, those are his eyes. Um, I use this Pokemon, and when he gets hit with, like, an attack or something, this thing flies up, and these, these like, go like, whoo, they, like, bug out. Let's see if we can find a picture of it. Appleton eyes? Yeah. <laughs> this is a cuter picture. Oh, look at this. I really like him. Uh, great dragon type. Dragon types can look be, can be silly and goofy too. They don't all have to look cool. 
Uh, and these guys are great. And Applin is also great. He's very simple in design, but like you clearly, he looks like a like a little worm creature in here. Uh, the best thing about him is finding out that he's a dragon type when you catch him, which I had seen, but I'm not sure if I knew. I looked at the leaks, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, and <laughs> Doctor Boyfriend. What the fuck? Oh, oh, you can do this. Oh, this changes everything. How did I not realize? We didn't need to do any of that shit we just did. I also think Flapple is the worst of the three. But the thing is, I have ranked other Pokemon highly for like, for memorable experiences I've had with them. And like, I, I, I struggle to think of Pokemon that I will remember more in the history of my life playing this series than Dr. Boyfriend. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I think I have to put him in A. <laughs> Maybe the bottom of A? Without, without Dr. Boyfriend, he would easily be in B. So I think a, maybe Dr. Boyfriend saves him from B tier. He might even be C. Though he's kind of cool. I actually think I, I like, even just outside of Dr. Boyfriend, I think I came to like the design of Applin more, uh, having him on this, um, like, in this playthrough just in general. But because he's Dr. B, I think I'm keeping him in A tier. He, he escapes B, but him at the top of B would be really funny because he's Dr. B. He's Dr. B, but he got an A in med school. All right, next. Uh, I think I wanna like these guys more than I do. Come on, Snack, you can do this. <laughs> this one is called Silicobra. And he's in here with my whatevers. Moving bolt on down. Sorry, dude. Uh, and then this is Sandaconda, and I th even though he looks like poop, I think he's sort of a cooler idea. He's like a shotgun snake, and he shoots sand out of his nostrils. And there are snakes that I think have weird-looking nostrils, kind of like that. So I'm gonna put him next to like these kind of more upper to low, to upper to middle B tier. Cause I, like Eldegoss I like fine, Double I like fine, Sobble. He's sort of in here for me. He seems cool. He's a cool snake, I like him. I just don't like, love him. Um, <sighs> I kinda like these guys. <laughs> what do we, what's the, what's the takeaway on these guys? They look, they look so stupid that I think I think they're fun. They look at his little, his weird face. He's like smiling. This guy looks like he's up to no fucking good. They might also be bees for me, but maybe the top. They're funny looking. All right, Toxel and Toxtricity. I am a believer. Do I really like Toxel that much though? He's fairly cute. I'm gonna keep him here at the bottom of A. These guys I'm gonna move up though. Maybe to the bottom of S. I really like Toxtricity. Um, I like the, the guitar thing on his chest. I like that he's like a sound based Pokemon. Uh, but also Electric Poison is a super cool type. Uh, the forms, I think, are cool. I used the yellow one when I played the game. He was one of my Pokemon on my team. I had a team of 12 when I played this game. The ones that are on the list so far that I used are Toxtricity, Appleton, Grookey, Corviknight, <laughs> and Orbital. I used all of those guys. That's almost one of the whole teams. Um, and I like him. Rinslet manifested them, I guess. All right, Sizzlipede. This guy is Scentiscorch. Sizzlipede is definitely Sizzlipede. 
I'll put him next to Rookity. Maybe he's fine. But this one I like. I think he's pretty neat. He's like a cool bug. Why do I want Scent to Scorch? Sizzin B! Maybe next to the other fire guys. I think I maybe like him more than Colossal. He's one I would like to use. But not much higher than that. Eh, these guys have swag. I put him. <laughs> I put him at the bottom of A, maybe. Yeah, it definitely does have little, like, footies. I think he's pretty good. I like him. Alright, these guys own. They're definitely S tiers. Can you go away? Now I'm annoyed by you. Uh, maybe Clobopus is S. Oh, crap, what is this one called? Octo Grapple? Grapple Oct. <laughs> he might be lower. I really think they should be water fighting. I was really excited that Grapple Oct was going to be water fighting. I was actually planning to use him, but then he was just normal fighting. And I like didn't go for it. Grapple Oct. Uh, yeah, let's make him. Maybe he's A. He's definitely not as good as Dredna. Maybe he's here. He's good. Clobopus, though, is awesome. He's a little guy. I'd like to use them sometime. <laughs> how did you how did you get in here? <laughs> Let's get out of here. And get up to the Vamer tier. <laughs> uh oh, it's my list. I can do whatever I want. Cram! Um, I'm obsessed with Cramorant and have been since the game before the game was out. And I think he's perfect. I have no notes on him. He looks fucking stupid. He's sh shitty. <laughs> he always tries to eat things that he can't even fit down his throat because he's stupid. <laughs> he for me is like Psyduck of like two, like of the new era or something. Uh, I think he's adorable and derpy and wonderful. His ability is really funny and cool. I used him on the playthrough. He's great. Love Cramorant. I want to keep seeing him around. Shoutouts to someone who made an entire fan hack of Pokemon Yellow just to make Cramorant the guy that follows you instead of Pikachu. I will play that someday. Someday I will play Pokemon Cram version. <laughs> yeah, he's the one who hunts... Um, Arrow, what's this guy called? Barascuta. Arrowcuda? He hunts this guy, but he can also pick up Pikachu, which is really funny. All right. And uh, this one's S2. Vamer? Mm. Sinus T, I think, is fine. I'm going to put him, like, here, maybe. I really like Poltegeist, though. Lovely little guy. Um, I feel kind of stingy about the Vamers. There's one more I know I want in Vamer. <coughs> we might move some more up at the end, though. Maybe one or two. Vamer is selective. There's one more I 100% absolutely want, though. I think uh, Poltegeist looks like he's leaning. He's leaning out of the out of the tea kettle or the teacup to hear what you have to say. <laughs> he's got almost like a sass energy to him. <laughs> yeah, I think he's he's pretty heckin' cute though. I'm a big fan. He looks like he's skedaddling almost too. Uh, and this one I like a lot, too. The Glaring Weezing, I think he's a funny gimmick guy. He's sort of like the Alolan Exeggutor. I'm gonna maybe put him at the bottom of S. Uh, with an interesting ability, to, uh, too. He's, he's kind of a cool ability. Um, I think, like, of the... Like, he's the goofiest, like, we made a British Pokemon kind of guy. 
Um, but the, the like top hat smokestack thing and then his like smoke mustaches, I think he's funny. And I like the lore of him too, where he, kind of like a lowland muck from the previous games, he was a, you know, he was like a bad guy poison type before. Now he helps like purify the air. I think that's cute. Alright, we got another Destiny Challenger here. I'm gonna put them in A just for now, so I, can, I I probably should be using this pin thing, right? Just so I can have them ready. It just makes it it makes it messy to see one when, when I'm putting them on. Um, okay. I think if it again before the Destiny Challenge, I think I might have said I like She the most. But I think it probably is Hatterene. Um, these guys aren't my favorites from this game, but I'm thinking top of A for her at least. I like the other kind of counterpart line to these guys more. Um, this one is violence, so that's good. She looks like a, they, they do look like Kirby guys for sure. Let me put them around here. I'll put the little one next to Choodle. He does. They're good. Lady Atwa slays. <laughs> yeah, Hatterene. Hatterene, like, almost... Like, I, I've noticed this now that I've used her, because I didn't use this Pokemon when the game came out. I wouldn't... Sword and Shield came out, but obviously we are using her right now. When she faints and the hair comes out and she's like this weird long thing in here, I almost think she's sort of like weird looking in a way that I don't really like. But just as the silhouette, I really like. And I do like her little hands. And she just looks like... I don't know. She's cool. Yo. Boo. Oh, look at this. Look, she's going... She, Gyarados is like... <laughs> and she's going, sex pest. Dumb. All right, who's next? All right, the ponies. I'm gonna give the little pony credit where it's due. It's pretty good. Maybe here next to Toxel. Pretty solid. Not doesn't stick out to me so so much. Um, but I I like it. Uh, but the Rapidash is disappointing. It looks much better in this artwork than it looks in the game. <laughs> it looks... I, I remember seeing Galarian Rapidash in the game and, like, hating it. Uh, I'm trying to decide between bottom of B or top of C. Maybe, well, Inteleon I, like, don't think looks super cool, but I don't, like, hate him either. I'll put it next to Inteleon. You move down. Yeah, the eyes are what's weird on it for sure. Right, that's the part I don't like either. Where's Obstagoon? Get up here, you. All right. Uh, of these guys, I like him the most. I think he's probably an A. He looks like Kiss. Here, maybe. Uh, and then the other ones are fine. They might all be around A for me. I think they're solid. I might put them... Well, Zigzagoon is cute. Put Linoon, like, here. Zigzagoon and Linoon aren't, like, my favorite Pokemon. Um, but this is a really solid regional variant. Uh... It's fun. I feel, I feel like it fits the energy of the region. Um, they're good guys. Yeah, didn't Sis, Sis, weren't you like calling it or predicting it or something? Weren't you wanting a Linoon like evolution or something? I think Obstagoon was the first Pokemon that we saw that um, was that evolved from a regional variant. Because Gen 7 didn't have any of that. Uh, but this game is this game introduced that. In Gen Seven, it, it's just like 
uh, you know, like, like Galarian Linoon would be the end of the line. Uh, but this one, they're at, they added new forms. And I like that. I think I, maybe that was, maybe some people were maybe more mixed on that. But I like that. It makes it feel like Gen 4 kind of again to me. Like giving guys not only like a new look, but like giving them a new chance kind of. Okay. Um, these guys own. <laughs> I'm thinking S for Morgrim, or for Grimmsnarl and Morgrim. And A for Impidimp. Impidimp is insane. Uh, hmm. Put below or above Dr. Boyfriend? Let me put Impidimp like here. Uh, he's a silly goose. <laughs> he looks, he looks crazy. <laughs> he looks like... <laughs> He looks like a woman, like, gave birth to a Satan child. Um, but, like, she drank a four loco before she had the baby or something. And he just came out like this. Uh, these guys are good, too. Morgrim is really cool looking, I think. And a Grimmsnarl, I'm gonna put Grimmsnarl, like, here. Or maybe at the back. I sort of have fallen off on him maybe, like, a little bit. But when he came out, I thought he was really cool. Uh, and then Morgrim is just, just like, he has like a, he has scorpion hair. I like the colors on him a lot too. He's neat too. I may have said that I liked him more, like the most out of this line before, and I think I could go that way, but looking at Grimmsnarl now, and I think he's pretty cool too still. So I'm just going to keep him next to each other. Um, all right. These guys are also raw. Berserker, one of the Pokemon in the series that I want to use the most and haven't used before. Kind of trying to decide where I want them to go. <laughs> the Meowth is really cute looking too. Cat Scratch. I might put them at towards the top of A also, but below Hatterene. Berserker has Wolverine Claws. He's Steel type. He had. He looks. He looks like a chill guy too, though. I like them. Um, this one I think is a really interesting idea. Being like dead coral. Um. Hmm, they're feeling like they land around the A tier for me, though. Maybe like low or a. Eh, maybe we'll put him above Santa Scorch, maybe. Cursilla, right? I never think about these guys. This one can stay like here. I just put them all in A. That's the tier list. I think they're pretty good. I don't think they're the best, though. Um, Surfetch just raw. <laughs> I might put him up here at the, like, high A's with some of these other guys that I like a lot. I'll put him here. The Farfetch'd, I'm, like, fine about. He's still, like, pretty cool looking, though. I'm gonna put him maybe... Maybe he can be top of B. <laughs> Surfetch'd is, is very swaggin', though. He's got, he's got it. He's got the energy. He's got the touch for sure. Um, we just talked about this. I, I am a big fan of Darmanitan and Darumaka, but I think these forms of them are fine. The Darumaka is pretty cute. I think they're maybe both B for me. Well, they're still good. I just don't like them as much as Darmanitan and Darumaka. Hmm. Let me figure out what I want to do here. Maybe I'll move you down. This list is all kinds of fucking all over the place. 
I'm keep yeah, I think they have it to be at least A. Because I'm such a fan of the original line. But these ones I don't like as much. But I loved seeing that they were gonna come out. I considered using him for sure. Um, you know what? I think maybe you guys are convincing me. I think these guys might be lower. And these guys might be a little higher. Kind of like this. <laughs> I'm also a massive Mr. Mime fan. I don't know if you guys remember, but I think he may have been in the Vamer tier in Gen 1. Or he was in S tier, at least. He was pretty high up. <laughs> and these mimes are great, too. But I also think they may be around an A. I don't know if I like them as much as Mr. Mime. But not low A, they're maybe higher. Maybe they're up here. I like Mr. Rhyme more though. He's so funny looking. The Mr. Mime is like not as good to me. Maybe we'll put him. He might be looking at him now, I just I don't know what it is, because he's cl he's pretty close to Mr. Mime. But, like, Mr. Rhyme feels like all I need with him, kind of. Hmm. That's a tricky one. Like, he feels like an afterthought to Mr. Rhyme. But because I still quite love Mr. Mime, I'm gonna keep him. Well, let's do it like this. Corsola is just Corsola, but white. Corsola, I think, is a cool idea. I think it's like this for me. I'm realizing that they adapted a bunch of, um... <laughs> they, had, they gave a bunch of Pokemon that I already really like uh, forms in this game. Maybe that's part of it. But I promise you we're going to get to some that are, like, lower for sure. Like these guys, kind of. I don't know. The sacred texts! I remember that being funny. I think Runerigus, though, is like... I don't know. I just don't... I don't think he's that cool. I don't, like... He's, again, an interesting idea, but I don't know how much of... Like, how much I really love his design, kind of. Cool idea. Not, like, thrilled with the design. But I don't dislike it. And I like the Yamask. I'm gonna put him like... Yamask is cool. He's cute. But he really is just Yamask here. How much is Yamask worth? Maybe this? Runerigus Finger Anus. <laughs> it is a bad evolution method. Alright. Uh, Alcremy. I think Milsery is almost too simple for me. They might be like here. Milsery is so close to not even being a design, kind of. <laughs> uh, and while Alchemy is fine, it has, definitely has got a little of that mythical energy that we all know Snack doesn't like. So, looking at this list, maybe we'll put it above the snake. <laughs> Too cute. Too cute. It's fine, though. The, yeah, all the colors and all that is cute, too. The big cake is kind of funny. All right, uh, this guy I love, though. He is an S. One of the, Another one of the Pokemon that I most want to use. I probably would have used him if I had replayed this game, but I didn't really like this game. Um, I mean, I liked it. I just didn't, like, love it. Phalanx, but, I like, there's Pokemon on here that I actually have used before. Maybe I'll keep him at the bottom of S. 
Um, he also is Kirby-esque. Uh, he is a bunch of little guys. <laughs> he's a, well, I mean, he's like a phalanx, right? But he looks, he like looks like a caterpillar, but he's just a bunch of little guys in a row. Uh, really fun, charming design. I really like him. Uh, Pincurchin is cute. Not, not D tier, but I don't like. Maybe he's kind of around these other sort of cute ones that I don't care as much about. Yeah, they're like a Bones and Friends. Um, I may a little unfairly boost these guys. <laughs> Snom, I'm gonna say, is like... Put him in the A tier somewhere. He he was like extremely hyped when this game came out. <laughs> On the internet for some reason. <laughs> I mean, he is cute. Where'd I... Well, he's not as good as Wooloo. Um, Snom... Maybe stick him, like, right in here. You think Vamer? I think he's pretty good. And Frostmoth is... She's pretty. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna put her maybe in low A somewhere. A Pokemon, would, would I, like, really use this in a game? Probably not. But I'm a sucker for a bug. I'm a sick fuck. I like a cool bug. Put it next to Dr. Boyfriend. Dr. Girlfriend. The actual namesake of Dr. Boyfriend. He does look like a little snow rabbit. They're good. Am I lacking in S-types or S-tiers? Uh, the Galarian Stunfisk doesn't do it for me. I also am not even really a Stunfisk fan. He's fine. I like that he's got the Pokeball mouth. It's kind of cute. He's like a bear trap. You can put him here, here, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Stone Giorno. Stone Jenner is good. I don't know if he's an S tier for me, but I like him a lot. Mm, this ruins also. Did anybody say it yet? Sis. This fucking ruins. <laughs> Yeah, Zero says, do I have permission? I used a stone Junior in Gen 9, and he's a funny little guy. I wish he had a cool ability, though. He doesn't. Ice Q does, but for some reason, stone Junior doesn't. They didn't like him. Will, you think stone Junior should move up to S? I do quite like him. Oh, you think these guys should move up to S. I see what you're saying. Hmm. Move Hatterene up to S. Top of A is still good. We'll see how we feel at the end. Ice Q, I'm also going to put in A. Better than Frostmoth. Snom. Kingo and Pixel have made me like this guy a lot more. Here's what I don't like about Ice Q. His weird head. And I'm not talking about the ice face. I'm talking about his weird head. <laughs> he has a weird head under the ice face. That looks weird. It is funny. And it also like that this like weird, this big hair is like, is it a fuse? Is that what it's supposed to look like? I like the 
this song. I think he's maybe around this part. I'll put him above Rillaboom for King O. King O doesn't like Rillaboom. Moving Cinderachi down. <laughs> you can be here. I like these guys better. <laughs> no one does Pokemon lists like this. <laughs> I feel like on most other people's Pokemon tier list, it would be the these three Pokemon together. For me, I'm like, okay, between Scorbunny and Cinderace, it's Hatterem, <laughs> Dreadnought, Obstagoon, Ice Q. <laughs> so many people are just like, ah, these are all the same guy, kind of. They're not though, goddammit, they're not the same guy. They're different. Uh, NDD, I think maybe like an NBD top though. NDD is kind of cool. I like this one more than the mean one. It looks cute. Um, they even might be a. I think if I rolled this one in a Destiny challenge or in a Nuzlocke or something, I would be happy to use it. Um, but eh, I think they're good in their place right here where they are. This is what I think would be a fun Pokemon to use sometime, but I think I would need to use it. And, uh, like that would be what would make me like it, maybe. I'll keep Mimpy. Um, this guy, I might just rank regular Morpico. This is not a different Pokemon to me. Uh, I don't really like him. I'm putting Q in C. You're, t you are so nothing. <laughs> Put you next to Squavit. No. Yeah. It doesn't matter. That one's in C somewhere. I'm putting more Pico in C2, actually. I'll put him at the top, I guess. I don't know. The fact that he has hangry mode is, is like, funny. It's, like, a funny idea. Yeah, Marnie having him is, like, a all right. But I, I don't know. I, would, I don't think I would use him. I don't know. I don't really like him that much. Enough said. Uh, cutest Pokemon in the game. <laughs> Not as good as Fan P, but Fan P is great. Did I put Fan P in? in it, all right, I'm gonna go back and retroactively say that if I also didn't put Fan P in the Hall of Game Hall of Famers, I want to correct that and put it in also. I think I had Don Fan and I maybe had Fan P like top of S. I was wrong. Actually, I'm gonna look at it right now. I know it's late, but it's not gonna take me long to do. Cause that's in the, we have a channel for that now. What did I do with Fampy? Fampy's at the top, very, very top, top, top of this. Um, I was incorrect about that. Fampy is in the Hall of Famers. And, but so is this one. <laughs> cute fan, cute uh, Tiffany Sweet. Uh. <laughs> I really, really like it. <coughs> I like its big shovel trunk. I like the color scheme. It's cool that it's a steel type. It's adorable. Elephants are my favorite animal. And I think this one is maybe more divisive, but I also like Kaparaja a lot. I'm going to put it in S right next to Lady Atua. Um, It's kind of funny that it's like a cuboid. <laughs> I think that that maybe is like the put off. But compared to Don Fan, who I still like more. Um, this one looks like an elephant. It stands tall. It's got like, like Don, uh, Don Fan is a cool design. It, like he, he's cool that he's a tire. I think as a design he reads, but I just don't think he reads as much like an elephant. Um, and elephants are my favorite animal, you guys. So when I saw that there was a Q-Fent, like, I was like, yes, finally another elephant. Uh, and then, um, Kaparaja came out and I was like, it's pretty good. 
<laughs> I think I like I dreamed it could be it would be so much more. Um but what we got, I think I still really like. And also Timphony Suita. <laughs> She's coming to her own so much. So we'll put these guys like lower. I think I may have had these guys in A before, but I'll put them lower S for the Destiny Challenge. Actually, I'm gonna put them above Grimmsnarl. Not Phalanx though, I like him. Sandgem, Sandgem Town is so good. Okay, um, I'm gonna place all these guys at the same time. The Draco ones are the ones I like more. Did I use Arc Zolt? Did I? I may have used him. I don't. Did I though? No, I don't think so. But like, did I? Did I use Arc Zolt? Yeah, I mean, I I get that like people don't like. Um, don't really like them, but I think they're fun conceptually. Uh, but I don't like love them. I don't like them as much as my favorite fossil Pokemon. But I think they're fun. I like that this one is like a clearly like some kind of Dromaeosaur, the Volt. He's like a small, fast theropod thing. This is like just a dragon tail. He's the one I like the most. Draco Zolt is my favorite. Did I use him? I don't think I did. Uh, we'll put him like in the A-ish tier. Yeah, I'll put Draco Bish with him too. And then the Arcto ones I like less. They're like around a B for me. Are they maybe all Bs? Draco Bish I think is funny. He's the funniest one, I think, even though this one's head is upside down. I think they're about the same for me, though. Uh, I like him more than Sinistee, or less than Sinistee and Alchemy. Let's put them, like, here. They're okay. I think cartoony is fine. I know a lot when a lot of people well, like what people want from the fossils. I guess usually is raw, um, but I think a cartoony one is fun too. I like them more than some of the fossil Pokemon, but I also like all the fossil Pokemon like a decent amount. All right, um, Duraludon. I don't know, not for me. Maybe he's here. I don't really like him. I don't know. He's hard to place. I think, if, again, if I had him in a Nuzlocke or something, I might think he was cool. Okay. And I think that these guys are also divisive. Someone said something earlier. I am with whoever, maybe it was Isaac. I'm with you, girl. This guy owns. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put him here. <laughs> uh, I have, even though like weirdly, I really like I I always I say I feel like I have to find myself backpedaling on this constantly. I really like Godzilla. I don't real I don't like any of the Pokemon that look like Godzilla. Kind of, uh, I think that like a pseudo legendary that looks like like a like a big like kind of traditional looking dragon is just like way less interesting to me than uh, a ghost fighter jet <laughs> uh, gecko thing. <laughs> and I think Dragapult's awesome because of that. I like that he shoots the little guys out of his head. Um. Ghost Dragon is really cool. He's just super cool. I like him a lot. Uh, Pincurchin is in B tier. Um, Dreepy is also cute. I'm going to put him in A. Do I have a cutie boy zone, kind of? He's around here. Let's put him below Impidimp. And then I this one. 
you'll have to forgive me. I don't know the name of this one. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in C for not, I don't remember what his name is. He can be above him though. Drac Cloak, okay. Well, he's like nothing, kind of. He's so middle form to me. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna do a pseudo legendary, you need to have a middle guy, obviously. But when I think of like the best middle guys, he is definitely not one of them. He just looks like Drag Dragapult, but not but not cool. <laughs> This is kind of mean, I guess, maybe. I'm moving this guy down, too. I don't like these guys. <laughs> I'm moving Bolt Hunt down, too. Give <laughs> you the top of D. No, I, I don't like the baby, either. I don't think he's good. Okay. I think another contentious Pokemon here. These I don't think these legendaries are super well liked. Uh, I think I was more excited about them before the game came out. Uh, in the time since they were released, I have my opinion has lessened on them. Um, I still think they're like, hmm. They are, I think that they are unique as legendaries, but they're not unique enough as designs. Like, I like that the legendaries are like wolves. Like, they've never really, I don't, they've never even really done like a mammalian legendary like that, unless you count Sol Galeo, who's like a robot. From like, you know, just from what I can think of. I guess Kyogre. But you know what I mean, like, I think for like a region that's based on like Britain, even though I, <laughs> wolves might be extinct in Britain, possibly. I actually don't know that or not. I think they had at one point had them there. They made. I don't know if they have them there still in the wild. Um, but like, I I think they they like they like they look like they have kind of like an Arthurian like vibe to them. And I, I mean, I, I, they're not. I don't think they're my favorite legendaries, but I still kind of like them. I do think I like Zacian more than Zamazenta. Even though I put I picked Shield version when I played, but I just I don't know, I just I did it because because. So I think he might be a B. We can put him here. And Zacian I'm gonna put like in A somewhere. I like him. I'm not ranking the other forms either, they're not as cool. Maybe like here. All right. Um. Okay. That's the. Oh, this thing. D. <laughs> what are you crazy? That ain't Pokemon. <laughs> that's not a Pokemon. That's a. That's a bone geometry dragon. Not cool. All right. Um, as much as I love Slowpoke, ba ranking this guy based on design, he's like one of the least anything uh, regional variants, I think, of all time. But uh, but Slowpoke is still himself better than Stunt Stuntfisk. You can move down. Give him the edge over. Well, he's still Slowpoke at the end of the day. But you guys get what I'm saying about that, right? Are we with me, with me on that one? No, like, nothing has changed about him. He's just yellow. They highlighted him. Uh, but I think these guys are pretty kind of cool. I The cannon arm, I think, is the best of all of these ideas. Uh, we can put Slow King in B somewhere. E. Maybe right here next to Runarigus. Rookity, move down. Rookity, you can go in C tier. Uh, 
Uh, but the slow bro, I, I like. I'm thinking he's an A. Be like. You're testing my patience, Galarian Mime. No, this is this is more right. Uh, the cannon is cool. Hey, he's around here. <laughs> what do you, you mean you don't acknowledge them that they exist, Zebra? <laughs> These guys. All right, uh, Cup Fu is fine. I, I suddenly feel like, you know, does anybody watch Red Letter Media? <laughs> or have you before? You know when like Mike and Jay will like, um, you, you there's some episodes where you can tell that they are like way too old for the movie they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel talking about these DLC, these Gen 8 DLC Pokemon. <laughs> Where they're like, eh, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> like, you, like, clearly these guys are like for, in their 40s and they're still talking about like, like shit, like, you know, like summer blockbusters. <laughs> That's how I feel about these guys. <laughs> Kung Fu's fine. I don't know. I don't know why I have him in B though. He's like a C. These guys are kind of cool though. I think they, to me, are the same. So I'm gonna only rank. Well, I'll just rank them next to each other. I know Urshifu, like, haha, he ruined the meta, uh, the meta game of Pokemon, competitive Pokemon. But I don't care as much about that. I think he's pretty cool. He's like a B though. I'll put him. Hey, maybe around like here. I like this one more. They're kind of the same though. All right. Um, so rude. He gets the monkey bump, but only a little bit for me. I know he's. <laughs> here's again. Here's the other thing. I, I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna help you guys a little bit on this one. The mythical Pokemon. I just don't like them. I. They. They all look the same to me, kind of. Um, and I Zerud doesn't and I sort of like that. He's like a, he's a like an evil monkey I think if he wasn't a mythical people would like him um, But I'm gonna put him like Maybe he'll be eh, maybe no 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 not there. He'd be like low B Moving Runarigus down. I don't really like him Okay, um, are we missing a Reggie, or there's only two? I don't like these guys. <laughs> I'm not even really the Reggie, like, I don't even really like the Reggies. I'm trying to think of where I, let me look at where I put them. The Reggies are fun to find, but they're not, I don't know, I don't really like them that much. What did I do with the Reggies on Gen, the Gen 3 tier list? Probably around the B tier. Where are they? Yeah, all three of them are in the same place and they're at the bottom of B. Uh, and these ones are even worse. Well, I think maybe they're around the top of C. They're in the C tier. I like Reggie Drago more because he has this like dragon mouth and that's kind of cool. I'll put them in the same place. They're fine. Yeah, the, the Gen 3 Reggies are, again, I, I, to me, the fun of finding them is not necessarily, like, part of their design. I think their design is dull. I think they're kind of boring. They make funny noises in that one movie, though. <laughs> uh... I don't know if I even rank. I'm not even gonna rank these. These are Pokemon, though, right? Put these guys all in the same lump. I don't hate Calyrex. I'm moving this one to D. But he's not much higher than D. 
We can put them all on the C, at the bottom of C tier, I guess. <laughs> the ghost horse is cooler. Uh, this guy on his own is so fucking weird. Eh, maybe I'll put him at the top, actually. Kind of being weird kind of works for me. And the ice horse I like list. <laughs> I don't know. Even the horses themselves, I'm like, eh, they just, like, they're kind of a little too plain. They look like they're missing their action figure to me still. But their action figure is so weird. Okay. Um, Alright, that's all of the Galarian Pokemon. I don't, like, I... <laughs> hmm, alright, we, <laughs> we might have some work to do up here, too. But if you really think, like, it, again, if you're if you're looking at the Snack Discord and you look at the other, like, Hall of Famers, like, okay, Alola has a lot, but Al Alola is great. <laughs> How much did Gen 6 have? A few, right? Ah, uh, five. All right, I might need to move some up then. Well, let's move up Grookey. I actually think I like Sinistee more than Appleton. But I think these five may be it. Do we want to move up any to S? Uh, I might actually change my mind around on this. I think I'm surfetched as like here. He's not much further down, though. This is fine. <laughs> the skew is a little weird, but... Fine. Oh, where are the birds? Oh, I didn't rank them. Um, they're raw. They're, like, all good to me. I actually think they're sick. Where... Let's see. I like them... <laughs> I don't know if I like it more than Articuno. Like, base Articuno. I, I think Zapdos and Moltres are an improvement. Uh, they're, they're pretty high for me. Let's put them, like, here-ish. This one is... Is this one the coolest? This one is really edgy, but I think still cool. Maybe I like... Do I like the Chocobo one the most? I think it might be like this for me. Which is funny, because I think this is the, the opposite of how I have the Gen 1, guys. <laughs> I don't like Zapdos. <laughs> <laughs> what, like we're talking about, talking Gen One Zapdos. I don't like Zapdos. He looks like a kite. He looks like he's f made out of paper. This one runs around and is a cool bird. What are you gonna do, Zapdos? He looks like if I dropped him on the ground, he would shatter. Okay. Um. Do I want to rank these guys with the rest? It almost kind of feels wrong, too. Maybe Naf's right. Maybe they are Gen 9. I feel like it would literally help me to have a fresh tier list. I don't think I'm doing the Gigantamax forms, either. Because it's late. I think it feels wrong. I it's it's my let's play show. Uh, did I miss anybody on here? We have all of the Gen 8 Pokemon, like the Scar Sword and Shield Pokemon, right? I'm just gonna make a new list. We'll save this one, and then it'll be really quick. Uh, did I want to change anything on here? Cramorant, Epic number one, best Pokemon ever made. Uh, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. A, I guess a lot of these guys are A for me. I 
But I, I like them. I think that's a good gen. These are definitely the Bs, looking at them here. These are the Cs. I thought there might be more Ds, but this definitely tracks for me for D tier. I think that the list itself is good for me. Yeah, we did. We ranked Meltan and Mel, 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 Mel Metal with the Gen 7 Pokemon. But they're all, like, this is a whole game, like, this is like a whole, not a whole game's worth of Pokemon, but the, there's, Mel, Meltan and Melmetal are the only guys that are like, what, what game are they even supposed to be from? Pokemon Go? Are they from Let's Go? What's their game? This one, they're definitely less than this. I'm happy, I was happy to rank them with the Gen 7 guys. Excuse me. Okay. Um, no, I just want to download this. Okay. Cool. Alright. Uh, reset. Just gonna reset everything. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> it did, but we'll, don't worry, we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, we can remove the F tier also. There's no Fs. F is for Yokai Watch. No, we're doing them apart. They, it just feels wrong to me. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel right. We could put them all in a tier though. Well, let's just go down as we see them. We can start with the with the starters, who are. Where even are they? It doesn't matter. We don't have to start with them. There's only one form of each of them. Okay, these are cute. I think these are about an A for, like, again, if I'm ranking them based on this game, um, them being wooden, like little wooden balls is, is neat. Cuties. Uh, this guy's a cutie too. I'm gonna put him in S. The Arcanine though. I'm an Arcanine fan, but th ah, this one's still pretty cool. I'll put him below the Voltorbs, um, but I don't like him as much. Something about like the gray color scheme or something. I don't like him as much as regular Arcanine. Uh, but the Galarian, or the well, Hisuian Growlithe, I think is a su sweetie. <laughs> I like him. But he, w he was also like right where I stopped playing the game, I think. Isn't he in like the coast region or whatever? I don't think I saw him. Or that would be, it's probably Basque Legion there, right? Or no, you use Basque Legion in that area, don't you? Yeah, I, I didn't get that far. Okay, thank you, Pixel. This is better. <laughs> All right, we'll put it back how it was, though. He's here. He's here. Um, who are my other S's? Ursaluna. I don't. It's my list. Ursaluna, I think, is the Pokemon I like the most from this whole game. Um. <laughs> I I don't know. Like I think he like he doesn't really look like Ursaring anymore. Um but I think he's really neat. Now the Ursaluna Blood Moon, I'm like whatever kind of towards that. I think he just looks like a weird monster thing. Um but this one I think has uh personality. I like that he's just a big old droopy like mud bear thing and I like riding around on him too. I'm a big fan. Um Don't worry, some of these I may also not know the name to. Uh, I also like Weird Ear. Woo Weird Ear is maybe like, hmm. He's, I'll put him in A also tentatively for now. He's great. <laughs> As like an evolution, or like a, an evolution to Stantler, really kind of, a bizarre choice, but I think he works. He makes it work for sure. Uh, the Lilligant is also good. I suppose I can put this one in S. I don't like it as much as the regular Lilligant, um, but I like it. It's maybe a little, I didn't like it when I saw it in the game, but in the official, now that the official art isn't out now, I like it a lot more. In the game, it looks a little too just like, I don't know, lanky, I don't know. But I like it, I, I like it a lot. 
Did I say maybe if I if at some point I said I didn't like it? I don't know. I was just, I was wrong. <laughs> um, I also like Basque Legion. I'm kind of maybe sort of ish going in order here. He is a cool improvement to Basculin. I'll put him in A tier also. I like the red one more than the white one. I regular Basculin though is still Basculin to me. I'm gonna put him in D tier. He will not be the lowest D tier Pokemon on this list. <laughs> Maybe for being so harmless, we'll put him in C. Because other other guys here are harmful. Uh, I also like the Braviary. I think I might like him more than Weird Ear. This is pretty good, I think. I think his big psychic, uh, like the psychic, these psychic things, but they also look like feathers. I think that's pretty cool. He might be cooler than regular Braviary to me also. I think he, I think I may think that he is. But I'm not like the biggest Braviary fan. These guys are B for me. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Gudra. And I also don't think that this one is that cool either. I don't know which of the two I would like more. The snail shell is cute though. I think I like Sligu. I also just generally like regular Sligu more than Kudra too. But the Sligu being a little snail poking out of the shell I think is cuter than like this is, it just kind of feels like you slapped a shell on Gudra. Not the worst though. These guys are also going to be a B for me. Put this one up here. Zorua is cute. And Zoroark is like... <laughs> he's like a... Uh, maybe we'll put them a little higher. He's a lot, kind of. <laughs> he's fine, but he's a lot. Cleavor, I don't have a real opinion on. We'll put him in C. Oh, I like the Sneasel. This one's cute. It doesn't do too much more than regular Sneasel, so I'll keep it below these guys that like are pretty like a newly designed. Um, but it's that's fine to me. Um. I also agree that I think Quillfish is better than the regular Quillfish. But I don't know by how much. <laughs> this guy, and then this guy? <laughs> I'll put the Cleavor above them. He's okay. <sighs> Overquill. It's a fun name. They're, I think I like them too. I just like don't like low. Well, you know what? Looking at what else we've got here, we can move them into B. Well, I got the starters to rank too, and I like them still too. Let's put them around here. C is fine. Um, this is stupid. <laughs> I already don't like Avalug, and this doesn't change my mind at all. Sneasler is bad. These are the worst. You know what? I'm sorry if you're... Maybe I'm just an old man. <laughs> it's fine. G! It's finally happening. F. <laughs> uh, and then I don't like these either. I think these are worse than regular Palkia and Dialga, who I already am not even a big fan of, really. I guess we can put them over Sneasler. I almost think I like Sneasler more. <laughs> They're all D, though. Uh, okay, and then the starters. Let me do a little research here. In Unova, where did I put Samurott? I put him in B tier. 
My problem with this one is I think he looks too much like Samurai. These other two I think look like new designs and this one looks like they didn't have an idea to me. Samurai feels like they just changed his color scheme. What is he, dark? The only reason I think that, he, I don't remember, even remember his type, but the only reason I think he's dark is because he, they made part of him like black. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put him in C. Samurai though is fine. Eh, I mean, Samurai is still cool. Let's put him at the top. He does, he's not changed enough. Um, and then these two, I like. What am I thinking? I think they're pretty close to me. I think I like the Typhlosion the most. I also th remember thinking in the game, I thought he looked kind of stupid, but again, it's just sort of the graphic style of Pokemon. <laughs> I, whenever, like when there, when a Pokemon exists, before I want to make a real opinion on them, I want to see their care, like their, their key art. Cause so many of them, I think, look so much worse in like the kind of crappy CG game that we have now, than how they look in this like kind of still lovingly put together uh, artwork of them. Uh, and I think these both benefit from that. Um, where do I want them though? I think I like them more than the Zoruas. Maybe like in here. Decidueye, well, I don't, I, I also agree. I don't think I like either of these more than, um, than their original designs, but I like them as additions to their original designs. And I think that's it. Um, I'm not, I'm not like the biggest fan of this game. I think it's like cool. The people that like really love it, I'm like cool. Um, and I even liked the gameplay loop uh, a decent amount. Like the kind of like sort of busy work Pokedexing. I thought that that was kind of fun. When I play a Pokemon game, I catch a lot of Pokemon anyway. I sort of do it like busy work anyway. Um, and I think that, that making that, like they made it more, there's more of that to do. Um, but uh, I also can get the, the vibe of people who like didn't who don't like that because a lot of the progression like between the story events is that. And I mean, it seemed cool. Like it runs bad and it it's ugly and it looks bad. Um, but <laughs> but it's fine. It's a cool idea. I hope I I hope that they improve it the idea with the second one but i also am not like this this idea seems so core to this idea to me kind of that i feel like like if, if the second one came out like if, if za came out and it was a just completely different formula different kind of thing i wouldn't even be surprised i'd be like okay i get it <laughs> like yeah okay like i don't know if this feels like uniquely this, and I like, I don't know how they'll do it again, but I'm hoping if they do do it again the same way that that it's they improve on what could have been improved on, because I think it's an interesting foundation. I also played this, tried to beat, get through and beat and play this the year that Gen 9 came out, and I I don't know, man, I, I like Gen 9 a lot more than this game. Uh, so when I beat that, I never went back to this. If you want a game that's more like an RPG, just play a different RPG. <laughs> I like to get the Pokemon, and I like the nice uh... <laughs> Okay. I think Pokemon is what it is, and when it does something that's outside of what it is, I like that too. But if they do it well. Alright. That's the show for me, gamers. Time to wrap it up with soda. 
Um, yeah, we went late, but like not so late. We went as late as we did last week. I'm just gonna jump in bed after this. I'm so sweaty. I want to take a shower, but I'll have to wait till tomorrow. Ugh. A little bit of destiny, a little bit of Pokemon cards, and a little bit of tier list. We call that a triple threat. One more time. We're not doing G-Max Pokemon, though I kind of like some of them. Yo, here's another Gen 8 song. Um, but I also like G-Max the least of the uh, gimmick, <laughs> of the gimmicks. G-Max is the worst one. I imagine, I think of playing uh, competitive in Gen 8 and it stresses me out. Guys, I'm going out of town and I'll be back with more, when it, will it be? I'll be back with more Destiny Challenge on... on October 6th. Right, for fun old October. We're gonna be wrapping up Golden Sun, hopefully. <laughs> look at look at Michael Axolotl. And we'll be going into the spooky DL spooky Kitakami Pokemon DLC. Which I like I really think we'll have finished by the end of the year. I really didn't think this was gonna this playthrough was gonna take as long as it did, but I've had a blast the whole way. Look at all the look at all the memory memories we've made. You guys, the girl on the back on the front porch, way in the back there, that's Wanda. Pixel's uh, player character from his psychic type monotype run that he did years and years ago. She's very cool and humble. <laughs> that's Wanda. <laughs> She made the cut. <laughs> Perspective is hard, you guys. I tried my best. Perspective is hard. All right. Hey, I'm going out of town, but I know some of you guys will be going with me. It should be fun for us. And for those of you that aren't, I hope you have a great two weeks. And I will be back with everything else uh, first week of October. Have a great week, and I'll see you guys next time. Big love. Catch you later. Bye.